What up? Welcome to a new video. Got some weird lighting going on because my ring light's over here. But anywho, um, oof, welcome to a new video. You already know from the title that today I'm going to be kind of showing you how I prep slash study for a test. So the first thing I'm going to do is shape up my eyebrows. I got some new facial razors. I'm sorry, they're eyebrow shapers. I'm going to shape up my eyebrows really fast. And then we are going to do like a five minute face situation that you guys don't need to see at the moment. I've been thinking about doing a new like five minute face. I have one from like a year or two ago. Let me know if you want to see that. So I'm just going to get up close and personal with my mirror right here. And I'm going to get my eyebrows in order. Put on a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel like a human. And my room is absolutely trashed. But I can't be bothered today because I need to study. My first nursing school test is tomorrow. So if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing how I study. Um, granted, I don't know what I'm doing because it's my first test. Um, give it a thumbs up down below and continue watching the video. So I'm going to, I'm going to shape my face, throw on a little bit of makeup. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So once I have my face put on a little bit and I feel a little bit better about myself, um, I'm just going to check my planner really quick. It's Sunday the 31st. All I have written down is to study and to do some homework. And then if we flip to... My monthly for February, I have unit one of prep you do, week four do, and I have an exam, my first exam. So then I'm going to flip to tomorrow, which is the first. Pretty much I have the exact same things written down and I have all my notes right here. And I have been trying out the dump method the brain dump method um if you've not heard of that a lot of the people in my class recommended it um you basically i'll try to insert a photo or something but you just get any whiteboard i wish i would have gotten a bigger one mine has a dent in it but it's all right this is what i could find on short notice i'm probably going to invest in a bigger one but you just write down any subject from the unit you're testing on. So medication administration, med admin, and you just write, you just dump everything out of your brain that you can remember about medication administration. Then you pull out your notes, your PowerPoints, your lecture, whatever you wanna use, and you compare the two and you realize what you skipped, what you forgot, what you got a hold of correctly, and then what you missed is what you study and you really make sure you have it. So that's the plan for right now. I've been brain dumping um, yesterday and this morning just because I had Ellie with me and I could sit in the living room and brain dump and she thought it was kind of like a fun game. But now that I'm solo dolo, I'm going to work on my prep you stuff, which is just a giant assignment. And I'm actually going to so y'all don't see like where I live and shit. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do right now. Just study. I'm going to work on these assignments. I have my notes, like I said, I will check back in with you guys later. Okay, so it's been right at like 10 minutes. I have four chapters. We use Prep U for my school. Um, I live in Kentucky. Um, we use Prep U. And the way they have it is there's a mastery level one through seven, I think, or one through eight. And your mastery level is how well you know that subject. So I had four left and we have to have a mastery level of four and I just got one done. And now I have three left. I got legal and ethical done and now I'm working on health assessment. So this is all I'm doing. Um, this is technically homework, but it's also studying because it's giving me practice questions and kind of showing me what could be on my test and, you know, making me familiar with like the kinds of questions that will be asked. So I'm going to finish this out. Hopefully <laughs> pretty quickly. I'm tired. I'm so confused. I got my uh, 
prep you completed. I did my week, week four assignment, which is just we watch like a 20 minute video. And like how breeding tips and stuff like that. They're called nurse time videos or something. Got that done. Acknowledged my grade from last week. I'm taking a minute off from studying just so I don't overload myself. Um, and tomorrow after my test, I have a lab over injections. So I'm going through that lab on my student account on Blackboard. And there's like five videos to watch before the lab. And it's just like check your steps, um, injection safety, stuff like that. So I'm watching those right now. But I'm having some issues focusing at this very moment in time because um, really no one in my family is in good health, honestly. Um, and I only have grandmothers. I have my dad's mom and my mom's mom. My dad's mom has been having some serious health issues for the past year. And my mom's mom, my mama, has been having health issues for the past several years. Um, serious health issues. And last night, my mom called to let me know that her mother had been put in, had been taken by ambulance to the hospital, and that she would keep me up to date. And obviously, they're not letting really anybody in right now because of COVID. So, she got admitted to the hospital last night. Um... And then my mom called me this morning. She's been keeping me updated. And my mom called me this morning to let me know that my memo was going to be intubated. And it sucks. It, it really sucks. Um, I'm very fortunate that my grandparents are still alive, you know, and with me. I'm super fortunate for that. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But it just stresses me out. She doesn't have COVID, um, but she does have several other respiratory issues. Um, so I'm just really worried about her right now, but I'm going to try to watch these lab videos and print out my lab stuff and just get my stuff printed out for the week. And then I just started dinner. I I was going to make crock pot potato soup and I meant to start it like four hours ago. I forgot about it because I've been studying. So I just started that and um, because my mom is in the hospital, my mom won't be able to keep Ellie tomorrow while I'm doing my test because my test is at home. It's proctored through two devices. I have to, I'm going to have to take it on my iPad back here and have my camera on that open and my camera on this open um I'm just I'm just very worried right now so I'm just gonna watch this lab and print out all my stuff for this week and then check back in with you guys after that I think my mom said she was gonna come by when she got off at six, which is when James gets off, which is when Ellie is coming home, and that's in about an hour or so. So, I'm just gonna try to focus on school for right now and block everything out just for the moment. So, okay, so we had to do okay, let me let me fly you through this real fast okay monday tomorrow right february 1st i have two assignments due that i've already done go me actually i had three assignments due and i got them all done i have my exam and then i have an injections lab and i've already did the pre lab video things tuesday i have a lecture wednesday i have a lecture and farm facts which is basically a lecture thursday i have to work on my prep you and a study guide and friday i have clinical orientation in person for clinicals right on the fifth but our clinical site is obviously a hospital and we had to do fucking orientation for them that just took me it's 6 18 it took me like almost two hours I think that was ridiculous so now 
um, all my books are online except for my little nursing math simplified which I am planning on these are my pre-lab skill video assignments I have to watch module 5 intro prepping from an ampule prepping from a vial administrating intradermal administrating subcutaneous locating intramuscular sites and administrating an IM injection and then um, after that I'm gonna go back to studying and the main thing I feel like I have to you sack of shit don't do that the main thing I feel like I need to focus on studying is dosage calculation so this is a really good book it's just nursing math simplified the fifth edition and there's a bunch of practice questions and practice like with the answers in the back of the book so uh, that is what I am planning on doing is working on my dosage calculations here in about an hour I've got to go add cream cheese and regular cheese to my potato soup and because my grandmother is in the hospital, they intubated her because her CO2 levels are super high. Um, my mom was supposed to keep her tomorrow while I'm in class and doing my test and stuff because James has to work. But because her mom is in the hospital, my dad is going to keep her, which is where Ellie is right now. So dad's just going to keep her overnight which kind of sucks but I don't know this is just I feel like I never get to see Ellie now because literally almost every Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday she's having to go to one of my parents house and it's just I mean we hung out all day yesterday but it's just not enough and uh my schedule lady from work should be messaging me tonight or in the morning with the open shifts for this week. Just, I'm stressed out to the freaking max, but I'm going to watch these pre-lab videos, go put that shit in my soup, and then we're going to practice dosage calculations and... I find it easiest to practice dosage calculations on my little whiteboard right here um, just so I'm not wasting paper. It's more environmentally friendly, I guess. I don't know, but I'm going to work on dosage calculations and then I'm going to eat dinner. I might try to take a bubble bath and just try to relax for a minute. I've definitely got to call my mom a couple more times and check in on my memo. So, fun update for right now. Okay. I'm gonna turn out lights. Oh, the crackhead. It is 11.45ish. I just got done. I got done with my first test. Um, low-key terrified i feel pretty good about most of it um don't mind my messy ass house but i feel pretty good about the majority of it and i'm just scared i don't know i'm not a good test taker and it seems like every time sorry i'm trying to find somewhere to sit you would it be easier for me to just use my tripod? Yes, but don't be ridiculous. Um, it seems like almost every time I'm like, yeah, I did great. I end up doing terrible. Sorry, making roast. Um, but it, it feels like every time 
I'm like, oh yeah, I did super good. I fucked up like everything and did terrible. So there were a couple questions that I'm for sure I got wrong, like dosage calculations, like they just didn't seem right to me. But overall, I feel like I probably did okay. Could have been worse, could have been better. Making a roast because I don't feel like cooking today, so. Things you got to do. Really thought I had beef broth, but I don't. All I have is chicken broth, and we're gonna make that work. Day. I just got done with my first test. I have a lab that starts here soon and so, yeah. oh I have to go get my second dose of my COVID vaccine so that'll be cool. I must cut my finger off. That's never good. Uh, second dose of my COVID vaccine lab gotta go get Ellie and my mom was supposed to keep Ellie I think I already told you this my mom was supposed to keep Ellie today but her mom oh my memo is in the hospital she had to be intubated yesterday um, and they were gonna allow my mom to visit this morning so my dad has Ellie for the moment and when visiting hours are over, you know, like 20 minutes, my mom is, well, that goes to the dog. My mom is going to head to work to get her second dose of the vaccine. And then she's going to go get Ellie. Oh, also, fun thing. So, before I had this YouTube channel, um... I wore, um, <laughs> don't judge me, I had worn wigs, like full on fucking wigs, not good wigs, super bad wigs. I had worn clip in extensions, glue in extensions, tape in extensions, sew in extensions, and micro loop extensions. And the micro loop, like the beaded, in extensions were my favorite by far and I have clipping extensions now and they don't blend very well with my hair just because the clips get in the way so I ordered some new micro loop extensions they got lost somewhere in a move my old ones sure I ordered some and I have told you guys at least a bajillion times by now I get all my stuff delivered to my mom's house just because she has security cameras and shit and uh, they came in. So when I go to pick Elliot from my mom's house, I'll be picking up my extensions and I think I'm either gonna do them today. No, I'm not gonna do them today. I might probably do them on Thursday or Wednesday. I have not decided yet. So I'm just seasoning the living shit out of this. I just used about three roasted potatoes, bag of baby carrots, I'm adding some chopped onions, garlic, some Tony's. I put Tony's in literally everything I make. I got this bad boy put to high and it is 11.52. Cool. Come back for that. And my kid doesn't eat meat. So for Ellie, she'll get potatoes, carrots, and I'm probably gonna make like some mac and cheese and mashed potatoes because she's weird about her textures. So. I'm just going to clean up all this stuff really quickly. I'm going to take my meds because I forgot to when I got up. And then I'm probably going to run out and go get my COVID vaccine. It's going to be a good day. It's 2 o'clock now. Let me make sure my microphone's me. It's 2 o'clock and I got back from having my second dose of the COVID vaccine, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. I'm currently in my lab for 
injections. Excuse my clothes behind me. I need to hang them up, but it's just not happening right now. Um, this is my next checkoff um, injections. I'm kind of worried about it. Um, we're going over intradermal, subcutaneous, and intramuscular, which is terrifying, but we're going through the landmarks right now. She's about to walk us through the actual skill. I have my handout printed out. Um, I don't even know where I put it. I have my handout printed out. I have my PAG printed out, which is just the performance assessment guide. This is how they'll grade our checkoff. And anything that has this asterisk or is highlighted, I highlighted all of them, those are considered critical steps. And if we don't do one of those, we automatically fail. So I've just gotten in a habit of going ahead and going through and highlighting all of the critical skills. And this is a handout they have given us. And later today, they're posting the results for my exam. I'm very, very worried. I'm normally a terrible test taker, like I told you guys. I feel like I did decent-ish, but because there's only six exams, 100 points a piece, or no, 60 points a piece or so, um, you can't really fuck up a lot of exams or you don't have enough points to sit for the final. So hopefully I didn't fuck up too bad, but we'll get there when we get there. I'm gonna finish my lab. I just wanted to let you guys know, I went and had my second dose of my COVID vaccine. I feel totally fine. My arm didn't even bleed. Zero problems on that front. Another flattering angle. Um, it is the next day, it is February second and I just kind of wanted to get on here and wrap up this video uh so they this Facebook group I created for the nursing students this semester everyone's posting in it and everyone's like super nice in it which is good that's what we want they made sure last night at about four or so they all uh, posted in that group that our scores were posted go see what you made you know like good luck and I logged on and I saw my score and at first I freaked out because I thought it was out of a hundred but it's not just so you know but I made a 51 and when I first saw that I was like how have I failed that bad? Like, that bad? Seriously? But it was 51 out of 60. <laughs> so, I only missed nine questions. I made an 85, which I am super proud of for my first nursing school exam. I was literally terrified. And once you got back on your iPad, you could look up like the categories of questions what you you know did well in what you didn't do so well in and of course I went back through and I wanted to see what I fucked up and uh I pretty much got a 90 to 100 on everything except for dosage calculation which I suck at math to begin with so the fact that I even got that far I was okay with because I literally suck at math like so bad so I was honestly just impressed that I didn't fail completely just off of dosage calculation questions but now that I know you know like how the tests are set up and like what's going to be on each test obviously every test is going to be a little bit different but not by much i i don't know why my eyebrow looks so weird right there um but like i said uh now that the first test is behind me i feel a lot better about it um one of the girls 
that is in the semester with me is at readmit from last semester and she has been so helpful and so freaking nice to me sorry i'm trying to find a bobby pin that is not over here <laughs> but she's been super super freaking nice to me her name's taylor she's so nice and she was like what'd you get and i was like a 51 out of 60 and she was like dude that is so good for your first test and i'm really proud of myself um and like i said dosage that one little piece of hair is driving me crazy <laughs> like i said dosage calculations will be on every single test so that's what i'm gonna focus on with all the new stuff we're going over for the next two weeks because my next test is in two weeks i'm really proud of myself so i hope you guys like this video it was kind of weird um let me know down below if you're in nursing school how's it going um or just say hey i love getting to talk to you guys so i'm gonna get off here and stop rambling sorry for the weird angles every single clip of this video um i will see you all in my next one bye